when one of my subscribers suggests to me that two bottles of beer from the same brewery are actually the same beer, you know I've got to go and investigate this theory. It's beer o'clock and today we're doing a little bit of a comparison, okay? Right, um, one of my subscribers, Joseph Macaluso from the US of A, right, got in touch with me. I think it was about the time after I just reviewed the Eyinger Winterbock, which comes in at 6.7% ABV. And he gets in touch with me and he goes, oh, Mark, uh, you do realise that Celebrator, which is Eyinger Celebrator, is the same beer. He said, I'm pretty certain it's the same beer. And they just re-bottle it at winter time and call it a winter bock. So I thought, all oh, right, okay, well, that's interesting. I'll, I'll do a bit of investigation. Um, without sort of doing a taste, which we're now gonna do, because the Celebrator is, is, is 6.7 as well. Okay. Without actually doing a taste test, which we're about to do, the feedback I'm getting of doing my research is it is actually the same beer, which is interesting, very interesting. So let's talk a little bit about these beers. So you've got the, 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 the this is famous, the, the Eyinger Celebrator, right, which is a dark Doppelbock coming in at 6.7% ABV. This beer, you know, and I'm not going to mess you around here. This, this, this beer has been ranked as, as, as among some of the best beers in the world. Right, so you're talking about a great beer here. You know, probably one of the best doppel box you can buy. Probably in the world. You know, so this is no mean feat of a beer, this. Then you've got the Winter Bock, which is, you know, when I reviewed it, a great beer. You know, and to be honest, you think, oh, it's not, this is not a beer I drink every day of the week. And I doubt many of you do drink this beer every day of the week. So, you know, I was unlikely to pick up any similarities when I reviewed this beer. But why would you re-bottle this at winter time, into a, which is one of the best bottles of beer, uh, double box in the world, why would you re-bottle it as a winter box at winter? Why would you do that? Um, this is the interesting question. So, without further ado, let's get these into the glasses and let's do a comparison, right? So you can actually see, you know, the interesting fact on, the, on their website is I remember when I did the review of the winter box, I, um, I think it was before Christmas, I did the review of the winter box. Um, you could click on it on the website. Now, if you click on this on the website, you can't, you can't, um, you can't get, you can't get into it, right? Which is um, sort of alarming, or you know, but maybe they only just liven that bit up at winter. I don't know. So look, let's let's let's, let's cut around the chase. Let's get these into the glasses. So let's start off with the Eyinger Winterbock, which comes in at six point seven percent ABV. And Brewery Eyinger, as you know. Um, it's a great Bavarian brewery. But I'd love to know why they are doing this. Why would you re-bottle your beer? You know, it just seems a little bit mad to me. And as you can see, look, they are. You know, it's a... It's a real dark black beer you can't you know you can't really see light we can touch a little bit ruby red towards the bottom but it's a really really dark dark beer you know um smells absolutely fantastic right so let's get the celebrator into the glass and these glasses come from the beer and oktoberfest um museum in munich um, if anyone wants to know where you get these glasses from, 
Um, actually, the Iyengar is drunk in a, in a glass, actually this shape, believe it or not, with Iyengar Celebrator on, the, the, you know, the Celebrator. This is, this, is, this is exactly the same as a Celebrator glass. Which won't just quite get in there. Right. The same colours. Exactly the same colours. Exactly the same. Same colour head, same colour beer. Same of the same. On colours and looks, identical. Identical. Let's get the aromas. Oh, it's oh, multi chocolatey, big red berries, sort of black forest gatto like sort of smell to it. Same. Exactly the same aromas. Chocolatey, coffee, you know, bold. Red, you know, bold red fruits. You know, it is it is like black forest ghetto. The smell, malt bread, and black forest ghetto. Yeah. Without even tasting it, I'll conf I, I say it is, it is definitely, definitely the same beer. Definitely. So let's dive in and give it a try. Very malty, some bitterness there. Very smooth, velvety, creamy, chocolate, coffee, berries. It's, you know. A little bit of sweetness there. Little brown, sort of brown sugar sweetness. Liquid Black Forest Gatto. Let's go for the Celebrator. It's like I've just took another sip of that one. Honestly, when you put these side by side, it's the same beer. The same beer re bottled without question of a doubt. You know, What? But I just can't understand why you would do that, Iyengar. I just can't understand why you would take a great award-winning beer, as in the Celebrator, and re-bottle it as a Winterbock. Why would you do that? Um, be interested if you know someone from Iyengar to, can sort of leave a comment below and you know let me know why they do that. You know. Uh, The awards it's won. You know, gold awards. It's a it's a gold and silver award winning beer. Why would you do that? Why would you I just this is the bit I just can't understand is why would you remarket it as a winter box? You know, at winter time, why don't you just put the celebrator 
in a big bottle and at winter and say yeah we're doing it in just do it in a, do a special big bottle of it you know do a 500 ml bottle of it at winter time instead of the normal 330s i just you know that's the bit i just can't i can't get my head round you know why would you why would you do it bonkers i think it's bonkers yeah, there must be a reason there must be a marketing department out there or their marketing department there must be a reason why they do it because they're a multi-million pound brewery you know um there must be a reason behind it but I, I you know i you know i work in sales and stuff like that i just can't see why you would rebrand a successful product you know and this is a successful product <laughs> Um, it's crazy. It, it's just, I it just, I just can't, I just can't fathom it out. To be honest, why you would change? You know, because this alone, if you've not had this beer, if you've not had a celebrator, um. By, by Iyengar, the celebrator. You've not lived. You've not lived unless you've had one of these beers. Um, it's awesome. Um, it's a, an original monk's recipe, believe it or not. Um, which was, you know, it, it's, it has got a lot of history. And yeah, it was, it's like I say, it was, it was an original monk's recipe that this has come from. bonkers why they they produce it and it's quite crazy it's quite crazy actually sitting here with the two beers taking a sip from one taking a sip from the other and it's the same beer that's bonkers crazy it really is so look so look we've we can't well i knew the conclusion before i started this to be honest and uh you know from doing my research but i just needed to do the taste to you know the taste and looks to, to get it 110 percent um so same beer different bottles from the same brewery 6.7 percent this is available all year round this is only available at winter so seasonal same beer why do they do it if anyone knows let me know why do they um reproduce put this in bigger bottles in winter and call it a winter box and in my opinion all they need to do is to put it in a big probably a bigger bottle and bring out the bigger bottles of celebrator during winter um so if anyone knows any answers to this please let me know below leave me a comment because it's the same beer so if you like this video give me a big thumbs up right hit that little bell get notified every time i bring out a new one and of course subscribe to the channel and like i always say beer is the answer but i cannot remember the question thank you for watching good night <laughs>